hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's great to see you guys again today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can apply this flatten transparency with object menu and for what purpose we are going to use this option so here this option is made for printing before you want to print something you have to apply this so let me show you for which objects I can apply this flatten transparency so I'm going to apply this color here control C control V again we're going to make some more copies so what I'm going to do here is that first I'm going to select this one so the opacity for this one is hundred percent so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to make this 80% I'm going to make this 50 and also I'm going to make this something like 20 so here we have all the objects and I want to print this uh, so I need to select everything before I want to print this document I need to apply this flatten transparency so you can find it under object menu here we have this flatten transparency so I'm going to click at that when you click at that so this uh, window is going to show you so you can change a lot of options so here with preset you can select uh, some preset which is available by default which is this low resolution and we have this medium resolution we have this high resolution and we have some other preset that's available here that you can select from this list but with uh, the other options uh, when you don't want to select any of the preset which is already here if you want to make your own settings so here I can change this raster and vector balance so if you decrease that so here as you can see this option is going to be turned off because this option is going to use for the purpose of the vector so if you want to make this 100 person so we have all the option which is this convert all text to outline convert all the stroke to outline and if you just decrease this uh, balance to 68% uh, so here we have this clip complex region as well so for now I don't want to actually change anything for the line or a text resolution so here we have this preserve alpha transparency first here we have this preserve overprints and spot colors so I'm going to just hit OK so now if you want to see all the other shapes here so as you can see you have this opacity 100% now I can just click here so we have this uh, shape with a complete fill color and also for this one you have no transparency percentage I can just click on color picker so we have the individual fill for this as well and also for this one so now the printer can really get this design and you can get a better result with your printer so here let me show you one more thing that uh, we can use the the flatten transparency for the purpose of if I'm going to put this right here and under opacity I'm going to apply this multiply so now if you have any kind of uh, design that you want to print just like this so you need to click on flatten transparency and here you have to check this preserve alpha transparency so I'm going to check this option and click on OK 
so now here we have to right click and ungroup so this is going to be a single ship and also we have other ships that uh, from this uh, option that we apply this blending mode on the ship now we have individual ships with individual colors here so we have the fill color for this one and also for the other ships you can just select that and we have the fill color for that so this is how you can apply this flatten transparency on blending mode and also on the opacity that you're going to make your design and after you are going to apply this flatten transparency so your art work or design is going to be ready for print so i'm going to delete everything so here let me show you that here i have this design which is dot uh, ai which i just place this here so if i want to print this so i'm going to apply this flatten transparency on that but here you have to change some options if you are going to make this a raster so you're not going to get all the options which is here only the option that is available with raster is this anti dash allies rasters which you can check and it's going to work for raster image but if you're going to make this balance 100 person so these two option is going to show up before we want to check these options let me show you here we have this line art and text resolution so we have the design what there is no line but i can set the text resolution we have the text here so i can just click here so we have different ppi or pixel per inch resolution which is available in the list so here we have this 72 up to 2400 different line art and text resolution and the second thing here we have this gradient and mesh resolution which i can click in this drop down list uh, so it's going to start from the 60 ppi or pixel per inch up to 400 ppi so for gradient and mesh if you are uh, used this gradient and mesh on your design uh, here we have this uh, gradient but we don't have this mesh in our design so you can set the resolution so now we just make this balance to 100 person for vector so now i can just let me check this per view so here we have this missing fonts here but if you just click or check this option convert all text to outline as you can see it's not going to highlight that again and also convert all stroke to outline if there is any stroke so automatically is going to convert that to outline and also if you make this uh, balance to something like 75 or you're going to make this something 66 so here we have this clip complex regions so if your design is use this complex regions mean that uh, if you're going to combine two three effects into a group and it's going to be a complex regions of the design but for this one if you want to clip this complex regions with the 66 a vector a balance so you have to check this option but if you make this hundred person so then hundred person is going to be a vector so you don't require actually to use this uh, to uh, check the option which is clip complex regions with this design so you don't need that anymore so now we set this and we are ready to go and also if there is any alpha transparency blending mode that we use for this design or we uh, want to uh, use to convert that opacity which is uh, different percentages for the design so make sure you check this option for that 
but if you didn't see anything with a percentage opacity with the design you don't have to check this option so now i'm going to just click on ok so our design is ready to go for print and let me show you one more thing under file with uh, this document setup we have this custom if you click here so we have some of the options which is available under platen transparency so we have this balance for the raster and vector we have this line order and text resolution we have this gradient and mesh and also we have some more options which is available here so i wanted to show you that is available under document setup as well so this is how you can uh, use this flatten transparency with adobe illustrator before you want to print something so you can use this option to apply on your design so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learn how to use this flattened transparency with adobe illustrator and if you have any question or doubt please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel so see you guys in the next video